Tech Talk Tech Tuesday. Talk Tuesday. Hello everyone, this is Will, SRT Amplification, and for this week's Tech Talk Tuesday, I wanted to talk about a subject that I found online while perusing the internet. I came across this article that was about a uh, process that this guy came up with. He actually wrote an article in an issue of Radio Craft Magazine back in 1933. And he claims that this is a way that you can get rid of some deposits that would come off on these old style tubes. I guess they were tungsten filament tubes. Uh, this was in the middle of the Great Depression and I guess people were trying to find ways to revive tubes. But the article is called Blowtorching Tubes to Life. And it's kind of interesting. It talks about how many service departments and, and service personnel back then that worked on radio equipment uh, any any type of tube gear would would bake their uh, tubes in order to get these deposits off. I guess that would cause them to you know have a interference or or test out bad or whatever. But anyway, he he suggests that a better way of doing it is with a blowtorch, and there's a little diagram right here. So uh, it's very interesting, but. Um, I'll put a link to this uh, in the description and you guys can uh, comment if you know anything about this procedure or have heard about this before. Uh, just let me know in the comment section down below. And um, I just found it kind of interesting that uh, this type of thing actually actually uh, happened back in the day. So um, just let me know what you think about it. If you, if you have any experience with it, just let me know that too. And uh, if you know why they actually had the uh, deposits on the glass tubes, uh, put that in the description too. The other thing I wanted to talk about in this uh, Tech Talk Tuesday is the use of software when, uh, you know, whether it's for designing an amplifier or, or just uh, plotting out schematics or whatever so you don't have to hand draw them. Uh, does anybody use that? Uh, let me know in the comments section down below. I've, I found a couple of uh, really good, well, I say really good, uh, a couple of schematic uh, software kits or software programs that, that I'm looking at. One of them is called Super Spice. That's the one you're looking at right here. And you can actually place tubes and transformers and, and resistors. I'm going to put a resistor in here. Let's put a plate resistor in here real quick. Let's see where the resistor sticker in there like that. It actually snaps to uh, the grid, so it automatically makes the connection point. You don't have to really line it up; just get it close. And um, but supposedly, I haven't. This is a trial version here that I'm using. Um, actually, no, this one right here is the full thing. Uh, this was a free uh, free software. This this uh, S Spice, but um, or Super Spice, whatever it's called. Anyway, um, it actually runs the diagnostics and the analysis of the circuit after you build it. So you can actually look at the waveforms and stuff like that. So it's going to be interesting. I'm just experimenting with it. But if you have any uh, uh, knowledge or, or, or you've used a program like this before, um, I've used AutoCAD and uh, Visio before in elect electrical work, you know, distribution and stuff like that. But this is the first time I've, I've ever found anything that would let you do uh, tubes and, and, and circuitry like this. Also, I found this uh, program here. It's more of a professional type of a program. It's kind of a CAD program. It's called ORCAD. And I just got the trial version of this. Uh, so not all the features are available to me. But you can see it's got all kinds of different components and stuff you can add in there. Uh, I haven't seen anything on here, at least in the trial version, for tubes. It's mostly solid state stuff, uh, but it's also a program that will run analysis and give you a uh, finished product at the end. And it's also got a, uh, a, a section of the software where I actually design what the optimal PC board would be if you wanted to put this on a PC board, design a PC board. So it's got some interesting features on it. But those are just some of the things that I came across this week. And wanted to talk about and if you guys have any uh, 
experience with either one of these uh, things, please put it in the comment section below. And I just find it interesting. Uh, as always, uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already and uh, like this video. And we'll see you again next week. Thank you.